eventually you'll be able to go to that studio that's downtown and be able to record professionally, but you're never going to get to that point until you start trying. Focus on love. Love what's in focus. Aim for above because the ceiling's focus. Focus on love. Love what's in focus. Aim for above because the ceiling is bogus. Focus on love. Welcome. This is uh, another episode of Famous Rapper Convos. Um, as part of the Famous Rapper Network, I'm David Prorock, and who are you? My name is uh, Jackie Dean, uh, real name Mason McDonald, and I'm based out of uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Cool. Um, I'm glad that you were able to join me today. Um, would you prefer me, I call you Jackie Dean or Mason? Uh, it doesn't matter, just whatever. Okay, okay. Um, let's go with Mason, I'm going to say. Um, yeah, that works. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, thanks Thanks for joining me for this interview. Um, I actually had, um, so I reached out to you after I saw you post in the Modern Musicians community um, about some of the lessons you've learned and also some of the projects that you have um, coming up. And so um, I just wanted to, you know, meet you and um, get you on this uh, famous rapper network so um, other music artists can hear what you have to say. Absolutely, yeah. Cool. Um, so if we could start out, um, so I haven't heard your music before, but, and if you could tell me in about three minutes, like your full story of how you got started as a music artist, like how you first got into music and um, some of the major milestones that you have um, reached along the way to get you to where you are today. What does that like three minute artist story sound like? Sure. So I started <clears throat> working on music at I'd say probably around the age of 13 or 14 and you know being that young and you don't have a job you can't really go to the studio much so uh, I pretty much saved up as much as I could and uh, ordered a I believe it was like a scarlet solo bundle from Amazon uh, so that's how I got started recording and uh, I basically would just lease out uh, beats off of YouTube uh, from all of these different producers and I would actually download them into um i think it was ableton or something like that and just you know i was terrible at mixing and mastering but uh i did what i could try to work with it um so i started i started uh around 13 i released my first single around 15 after taking a couple years off um and i released that to soundcloud and it did you know fairly well and i you know i really stuck with the promotion and learning everything from all of these different YouTube videos on how to promote. And, you know, I think when I was 16, my, my very first, my third song that I released, um, I think it reached something like 50,000 views on SoundCloud, which, you know, isn't a huge accomplishment, but, you know, for somebody my age and that little experience, I really felt the push to, to keep going. Mm -hmm. um, and that was back when, my music was different than it is now. So um, <clears throat> all of those tracks have subsequently been hidden from um, public view, but um, I think eventually I'll, I'll put them back out just so people have a understanding of like how far I've came from that person that day to how I am today. Mm -hmm. Totally. Um, and how old are you now? Uh, right now I'm, I'm 20 years old. Okay, cool. Um, so what about in the last four years, what you got going on? Yeah, so the last four years, um, <clears throat> ever since I was 16 or 17, I stopped making that style of music and I've kind of combined, or I've kind of, I shifted a lot from, you know, the 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 dark, like, you know, I guess you could call it emo uh, style. I switched, I kind of transferred into more of a um, lyricist, which was great because I got to uh, expand my knowledge on, uh, vocabulary and just how to uh, <clears throat> layer um, verses and everything, which was awesome. And so subsequently, I've kind of transformed into this, I guess you could say a mashup of pop punk and hip hop, which is really cool. And I'm really loving this style uh, and this genre. And I'm having a lot of fun, probably the most I've had with this kind of sound I've got going on. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Um... Yeah, I also started making music when I was around 14, um, started making raps. Um, I made them with my friend on GarageBand. Um, but then after 
I wanted to make music a lot more than he did. Um, I got, um, what's it called, Audacity on my computer. Um, and then I learned how to like make stuff on Audacity. Um, and then I um, got FL Studio, is that what it's called? FL Studio, I got the yeah. demo version and started making beats on the demo version um, where you have to finish the entire song in one sitting because once you save it, you don't let, they don't let you open it. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, so that kind of continues to influence my style today. And um, I, 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 I trans transitioned recently to Logic Pro, which I love a lot. Um, have you ever used it? I personally have not used Logic. The only uh, DAW systems I think I've used are FL Studio, which is a great program. I love FL. And Ableton and Pro Tools. I can't learn how to do Pro Tools. I've tried it. I've tried to look up videos. I hate I. Yeah, it just sucks for me, but mm -hmm. you know, it's the industry standard. So hopefully one day I can get somebody to actually show me how to use it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, those or maybe once you're really a pro, run. you got to be a pro to use pro tools. That's why oh, you yeah. can't do it. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. You can go so deep on these uh, different softwares. So it's definitely like a, a real thing. Knowing how to use them is a big skill. Oh, for sure. Um, cool. Uh, so Mason, if you could tell me, if you were to look ahead like 12 months from now, um, where do you hope to be with your music based on who you are right now, like where you've been? Um, so where do you plan on going the next 12 months? Sure. So with COVID and everything kind of shutting down live shows, um, <clears throat> I would hope within the next 12 years, uh, my debut album, um, the Grotesque and Arabesque, I hope that's a it will be out within the next 12 years, but I hope that's uh, kind of reached the level to where I can start going to more and more live shows and, you know, kind of travel the country a little bit and get the name up a little bit more. That's really one of my main goals for 2021 is to get a bunch of uh, live performances under the belt and just, you know, have a really fun time and do a lot more promotion than I am right now. Um, and just, you know, have more songs out and keep going. Cool. So you're, you're focusing on creating an entire album um and uh how much progress have you made on that so far yeah so i've got um currently it's a eight song lp i've got <clears throat> five of the songs recorded and the last three are completely written i'm just waiting to get back in the studio uh, they've got you know social distancing going on and everything so i just got to bide my time and uh get in there when i can cool what's um what's like the meaning behind the album i what yeah. was the name again Album. Uh, the the grotesque and arabesque grotesque and arabesque yes grotesque i think means like gross something along those lines yeah and what does arabesque mean um it's pretty much kind of like <clears throat> i guess you could say like the different or like you know odd one out ish so i got the name the grotesque so there's a, a book by um Edgar Allan Poe. It's one of his more famous, like, old um, novels, and it's called The the Grotesque and the Arabesque, and I read a little bit of it when we were in middle school for a reading project, and I just love the name, so uh, that being one of the first uh, novellas that he wrote, I really wanted to, you know, my first project to be kind of along those lines of, like, this is where I've started, um, and this is where I'm going, and, you know, just keep, keep going. Mm -hmm. Um. So where did you start? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> um, so is the album like about this? Is it related to this uh, book by Edgar Allan Poe? Or like what is the um, album about? The album for me is about, um, <clears throat> there's a lot of storytelling going on. So uh, there's a song in there about uh, my grandfather who is named Jackie Cathy. Uh, that's where I got my artist name from. I've kind of taken over his mantle because he was a huge role model in my life when I was growing up. Uh, and he died of uh, cancer in 2015 uh, during the break that I was taking from music. So uh, there's definitely a song about uh, that going on and just, you know, my feelings during that time. And, you know, I've got some, some more, uh, I guess you could say poppy type of songs, you know, just some songs that make you feel good. You can roll the windows down and just, uh, listen to them on the way to work or whatever. But I've also got some more, you know, storytelling songs that I've been writing and I would like to get more into the 
you know, the lyricist, but, you know, it's always telling a story. Uh, and that's really what this album is for me is, you know, the story, the st- the story so far from what I can write from how, where I've become now, you know, cause there's always improvement and there's always going to be uh, newer situations showing up, but this is kind of like my story so far. Mm-hmm. Cool. I love that. Um, who, who would you say are some of the inspirations of the album? Like who does it kind of sound like, or uh, who do you pull from inspiration? wise? Sure. So um, one of my bigger inspirations when I was 15 or 16 was, uh, Machine Gun Kelly, and I've kind of taken a little bit of his new sound, which is like the pop punk, um, more singing than there is rapping, but you know, still a large amount of lyricism going on. I've taken kind of his sound. Uh, I've really began to enjoy Black Bear, uh, Mod Sun, and um, oh, what's his name? Can't think of it. Um, but, you know, those are some of the, the bigger inspirations of the album. And uh, I've done a lot more singing than I thought I would, which is great because, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a good practice. And I've definitely started taking more vocal lessons than I had before. Uh, so I think those are probably the, the biggest inspirations behind, and you know, how the sound of this album is. Cool. Um, Machine Gun Kelly and Black Bear. And uh, who's the other one? Uh, mod sun mod sign mod sun like the mod sun. sun oh yeah. mod sun okay i don't think i've heard of them um if i were to listen to one song from mod sun what song should i listen to i, I would say shoot them down which uh that actually you know it has i think black bear and machine gun kelly are both in those songs which is pretty funny because that's the other two but uh that's a really good song <laughs> nice. and uh um dude my memory shot today um, so that song I have it on my is, playlist that song is your inspiration is just that song because three artists are on it and then yeah it. and it's funny because i only found that song like a week ago when it was on shuffle on my uh my am or my amazon uh alexa at home it played when i was you know i was in the middle of i think playing video games or something and it mm. came on in the background and i was like what is that so yeah i've nice. started listening to that more i've listened to him more uh, and it's really cool because, you know, he kind of fits in with the same style of uh, Black Bear and Machine Gun Kelly and, you know, all these guys. Nice. That's awesome. Um, and so you talked about releasing some songs on SoundCloud in the past, but do you have any of your uh, more recent music released yet? Uh, I do not. And that was, you know, the thing I was I was worried about when I was starting back up. And uh, especially because, you know, I've got a very small fan following in Nashville just from uh, before all of this, being able to play like two or three live shows. And that was one of the things I was thinking about of, you know, if I were to go in, you know, and do press, you know, all this press stuff and everything, I really have nothing to throw out there and say, you know, look at this. This is what I can do. Uh, But at the on the other hand, that is something that I actually enjoy is when people say, you know, do you have anything I can listen to? I'm like, well, I've actually got something bigger coming up very soon that you can listen to, you know, I can send you the link and everything. And that's helped a lot with, um, you know, building, you know, a small hype, but a hype up about the album. And I think it's going to do really good for, for where I am right now uh, when it releases. So I'm very excited for that. Nice. That's cool. Um, When I, started making music again um, after taking a break for a while. It was in uh, 2018. And then the first thing that I did was um, I uh, wrote and recorded an EP and then released that um, basically like as soon as I could, just so I had something that I could point to and be like, I do make music, you know? Um, So maybe that's something you could consider, especially if you have five of the songs already finished. Like you might want to drop just like something small um, to get people to like, you know, have, be able to hear you yeah for sure yeah um nice and so my next question is um have you ever freestyle rapped before and um if so how yeah i mean let's start with have you like do you know how and do you do it um you know and that's one thing that i i try to get better at uh definitely uh some nights i'll put some stuff on my uh my bluetooth in my car and kind of just you know 
freestyle think over it. I've never really sat down kind of like on a shade 45 type of thing uh, and had a B playing and just keep going. Um, I can't, I, I really like to sit down and, and really think about what can go together and how can I tell this story, but I would love to get better at freestyling. That's something that I've always thought, you know, as a kid, I was like, that's so cool for, you know, to be able to come off the top of the head like that. Mm. Cool. Uh, if you're interested, every Thursday I run a free uh, freestyle rap workshop where we can freestyle together, and um, I can teach like anybody how to freestyle in like 30 minutes or less, basically. Um, so if you're interested, I can send you the link to that after. Yeah, that sounds really cool. I I'm definitely interested. Cool. I do it on Discord. Have you ever used Discord? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and then Discord lets you use bots, so you just like say like hashtag play, and then um, you can say like play. Uh, MGK type beat and then it'll search on YouTube and then play it and then we can both rap on it at the same time that's very cool yeah I like that idea a lot cool I'll, I'll invite you to that Mason is um have you ever collaborated with other artists uh so yeah there was a guy that lived up in uh Wisconsin uh, and we kind of, we met each other around the same time that I started making, you know, the first tracks. Uh, and his name is uh, Brian Hanlon. Uh, and so we, we did, I think, two or three songs together uh, back when I was 14 and 15. Uh, he was actually on one of the ones that got like, I think, 20,000 views or so. So we were really excited to take that further. And kind of like you, you know, he kind of, from what I understand, stopped really caring about creating keep or uh, keeping creating music i don't know if that makes sense but mm -hmm. you know kind of like your story where i kind of decided this is something i want to do uh for the rest of my life and he was like you know this isn't so we you know we kind of parted ways but he's still a good friend and i still talk to him uh besides that i've been talking to uh other artists in the nashville area and actually somebody up in canada about uh the features for this album so we've got two down already. And I also talked to, uh, I don't know if you've heard of him, Futuristic. Uh, I've mm -hmm. talked to his, you know, his management uh, because I really wanted to have a single uh, with just me and him. And I thought it would be really cool. So I've been talking with them uh, and hopefully we can get something going on that. Nice. Um, how do you, how have you gone about getting those um, features? And um, you basically did, you, yeah, how did you, did you directly email Futuristics Management? Um, and has, has it been you doing those things to get the other features? Yeah. So I definitely, I don't have a manager and I don't have a, a real team yet. Um, I pretty much, you know, for all of the people that have featured and all the people that I've talked to about doing it, I, it's pretty much been me on social media, just constantly, you know, searching hashtags and searching suggested and everything and just, you know, kind of building a broad net of people that do the same thing I do. And with Futuristic, I actually um, went to his Instagram and he's got an email for one of his, I guess his like main like uh, scheduling managers. So I sent them an email and I was like, you know, this is something, this is how the song I would like to uh, record would be laid out. And this is, you know, what I need from you and, you know, how much would it be? Uh, how you know how would it be and everything so they they sent me a, a long list of you know the requirements and you know what they can do and everything so it's been really cool talking with them and I think you know with him on the track it would be a really great boost to my uh to my career yeah totally that sounds awesome best of luck with that um my next question is um so you don't have a manager or a team yet. Um, and I'm wondering if you like had a magic wand or like a uh, phone book and you could um, find any specific person, like maybe not, probably not a name, but like who, who would be the most help for you in the next 12 months um, to reach your goals? Like what type of person do you need to work with? Sure. Uh, I would honestly say, um, you know, a more likely a touring manager or just uh, a talent manager to, you know, tell me the things I need to start doing uh, via social media or whatever, or, you know, public appearances and just, you know, 
help me continue to stay on the right track of this is when this needs to be out. This is what you need to do at this point and everything. I think that would be a big help. Okay, cool. So like a touring manager or like a more general artist manager that can help you with the planning and setting deadlines and sticking to them and stuff like that. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Nice. Um, cool. Uh, so we are almost at time. I want to give you an opportunity. Um, do you have any questions for me? Uh, not really, but it, it's been a, a lot of fun. You know, this is my actual, my first artist interview uh, since 2014. I had a small one, but this has been really cool. And uh, I've definitely uh, learned a lot from studying your page and, uh, you know, the, the community that you've invited me to. And I've having, I'm having a lot of fun talking to the people from that. Cool. Awesome. Um, thanks for sharing that. And um, I'll, I have one more question. Um, actually, there's gonna be two more questions. Number one is, um, what if you could go back to um, you when you first started when you were 14, or maybe when you were 16, like what's some advice that you would give to somebody that's um, in high school, and maybe like just starting to make music for the first time? Sure, uh, I would say my, my, my best piece of advice for you is to uh, start now. Um, it definitely doesn't matter what equipment you have, you know, eventually you'll be able to go to that studio that's downtown and be able to record professionally, but you're never going to get to that point until you start trying. Uh, even if it's, even if you can't record, even if you can't buy the recording equipment, you know, your camera's got a, you know, a video option and I'm sure somehow you can play a beat in the background, you know, whatever you can do to um, always improve because you're never going to improve unless you keep making songs. Um, and that, you know, that's something that I wish I did when I started out. Uh, I kind of thought, well, I need to have the best equipment in my house to be able to do this. And it's not true. I mean, you know, you just get a cheap mic, a cheap whatever, whatever equipment can record your voice, you know, just to start doing it. Cool. Totally. I agree with that. Um, I made songs with Audacity, which is free, and GarageBand is free, once for PC, once for Mac. And then I used um, a Blue Yeti microphone, which cost like $120, um, which at the time seemed like a lot of money, but I actually used that microphone up until like two months ago. So it was like $120, and it lasted me like 10 years worth of making oh. songs. Um, yeah, for sure. So it's definitely a good investment. Um, and so like the last thing here, um, is there anything that you haven't said that you want to, um, say to the world right now? Um, and also like if people want to reach out to you, uh, how can they do that? Sure. Um, there's not much that I haven't said that I really feel anybody should or wants to hear. Um, uh, the best way to reach me would probably be Instagram. That's where I spend a lot of my time. That's where I do a lot of my promotion and searching. Uh, my Instagram is no, as in no, uh, Jackie Dean. Uh, and then my Snapchat is the same thing. Uh, and then my Facebook, um, my artist page is the same thing. But, you know, I've got my personal Facebook where I, I actually met you and everybody else. Yeah, cool. No Jackie Dean. Yes, sir. All right. So like is it, is it mace no jackie dean like that oh yeah is that what it means yeah <laughs> nice okay well so um thank you so much for joining me um and uh i hope everybody watching out there has a great day and um, mason i hope you have a great day and um i really look forward to seeing what you create awesome thank you man yeah i definitely wish you all for the best and uh thank you for the opportunity for letting me on your show you're welcome all right take care all righty, you too. Love wasn't focus, aim for above, because the ceiling is bogus. Focus on love. Love wasn't focus, aim for above, because the ceiling is bogus. Focus on love. Love wasn't focus, aim for above, because the ceiling is bogus. Focus on love. Love wasn't focus, aim for above, because the ceiling is bogus. I want to lay down a never ending road. We never